Hey guys, Mike Lomens here from MyTennisTools.com. I got a short video here on using a smartphone to film a tennis court. So this first video here is probably the one most applicable to most people. It's a 18-foot uh, setback, 10-foot high fence, and a 0.45x lens. So this next video is filmed without a wide-angle lens. And if you're just looking at your strokes, it's probably okay, but it's not going to catch the whole court for a match. But let's look what's involved in, in using this wide-angle lens. Well, I mean, first you clip it on, and then this uh, the lens that we have has little crosshairs, which helps you put it right over the lens of the uh, smartphone. Then we put it in the adapter, make sure it's in there good and tight. Set the angle on the QM1, the mark on the camera bracket, and the mark on the base. Line those up, and that works for just about any court you're going to play on. Next thing we do is we just hang it up on the fence. We're good to go. So now we're back looking at your typical example, probably 10-foot fence, 18-foot setback. Here we are on a 21-foot setback, again a 10-foot high fence, still using the 0.45x lens. And another example, using the same lens, 18-foot setback, but using the uh, ProView extender to get 2 foot higher than the fence. And then for comparison, here's our 0.67x lens, not quite as wide. As you can see, the player disappears off on the corner. So I hope you found this video informative as to using your smartphone for tennis. I think it's a great way to go. Great video, easy to set up. Any questions, please contact us here at MyTennisTools.com. Glad to hear from you.